Plug Seeker. Hey, good afternoon. This is the Plug Seeker. Today I'm going to demonstrate the use of one of the new Shell Station rapid chargers. Now, these have cropped up relatively recently in the last few months. Um, I believe there's about 10 of them so far, um, but they are spreading out across the country. Now, there are other um, charging companies that are taking up at Shell stations and BP stations, but these specific ones are actually on the Shell forecourts. Now, the company that runs these ones are called the Aligo Network, um, which I believe are also present in Europe, um, and they use an app called the Smooth app. Now, the Smooth app, you just uh, have to register and uh, register your credit card with them. And then the activation of the charges is completely via the phone using the app. Um, I don't think there are any RFID cards, at least uh, not that I'm aware of at the moment for these particular charges. So I'm going to go give one of these a go and uh, we'll see how it works. So I've arrived at a Shell rapid charger. I've gone to the one on Gosden Road near Caterham in Surrey. Now this was actually the first of the Shell um, recharge stations to go live in the UK as I understand it. And as we're lucky would have it, by complete coincidence, it happens to be two minutes from my front door, which is nice. Now currently these charges are 25p per kilowatt without any startup um, fee which actually is not too bad. However, unfortunately, as I understand it, their current plan is that they're gonna go up to 49p per kilowatt come 30th of June, 2018, which actually is then a little bit steep. Now, I'm not sure what their reasoning on this is um, because at that price, it would put them probably the most expensive rapid charging network in the country. Now it's possibly this is just a test price um, or possibly they have got the sort of um, petrol selling head on and thinking that actually that's still a lot cheaper than probably than charging or filling up rather with petrol. However, with the competition from so many other networks, if they stay at that price, I've got to be honest with you, Shell, very few people are going to charge at your network unless they are extremely desperate, <laughs> okay? Um, now, today I'm gonna just test out the charger and just show everyone how to use this network. Now, this won't be a very accurate test of the speed of charging because actually I'm currently at 87%. Now, those of you who have used rapid chargers will know if you approach a rapid charger with a very low percentage, so if you come in 10, 15%, initially the charging speed is much, much faster. But as you come up 60, 70, 80%, the charging rate slows down dramatically. Now this is why many people often stop at about 80, 85%, um, especially if there's somebody waiting because it's just so slow by that standard. So being that I'm on 87%, it is going to charge, it will charge very slowly. So this won't be a test of charging speed at all. This is really just a test to show you how to use one of these chargers. So as I said, to use this charger, you need to first download the Smooth app and register with it and put your credit card or debit card details in. So once you've downloaded the app, this is what you need to do next. So now you go up to the charger and as normal open your Chadmo, which is this one. Okay, so you're all ready. And now go back to the machine. Now you're gonna open your app again and click start charging. And now it asks me to plug in the car. So I get my Chadmo 
from here and that goes in there and push it in tight and should click and then going back to the machine it says click start so I press start and I hear the machine has just clicked it's connected to the car and the car beat means it's just about to start and there we are we're charging and that's all there is to it and there we are the car is charging away nicely So, that was relatively straightforward. The car is charging nicely. Um, one small criticism I would say is that whenever you use the Smooth app by Allego Charging Network, you have to type in the last three digits of your credit card again to activate it. Now, I know the Ecotricity um, app when you're using those chargers is very similar, it also requires the last three digits of your credit card. Now. I'm sure there are very valid security reasons why they want you to enter in the credit card details. But that being said, it is a bit of a pain to root around, find the right credit card and write in the digits into your app just so you can use the charger. I'm sure there must be a better way of doing it than that. But otherwise, saying that, it was relatively painless and it's charging nicely. You've got a shell service station here. Um, it does feel rather funny when you're charging your car next to a lot of people paying for petrol. In fact, uh, I think you get a slight superiority complex when you walk in there on your electric car. Um, but um, yeah, it's a good little uh, shop here. Um, it's open late and it's actually got wi free Wi-Fi in there and you can sit there and have a Costa coffee from the Costa machine. You can grab some basic groceries in the store as well. So um, yeah, it's a good place to charge. Right, okay, well, as I said before, I don't really desperately need a charge at the moment. This was just a scouting visit and a little tutorial on how to use these particular chargers. But I think we can say safely that they were good chargers. However, if they price them at 49p from June onwards, they are going to be probably the most expensive rapid chargers in the country. But who knows, market forces, that may well change. They may rethink their pricing structure. Um, and that's the good thing about having several companies doing rapid chargers. They're all in competition with each other. So hopefully that will be good for the consumers and drive down prices for EV drivers. So I'm finished here. I'm gonna now show you how to disconnect um, from the charger. And basically you go back to the charging app, the Smooth app again, and you just click stop charging. And I'll do that now. And as I pressed finish charging, it has come up with a message saying that the charge has been finished by the user. And so all I need to do now is disconnect my Chavmo charger cable. So all done. As I've said before, one of the important things when you finish using a rapid charger is that you make sure you put the rapid charger away properly. And there you see the plastic cap is back on the end of the Chavmo. And then all you need to do is nicely replace it back in the uh, charging holster again and that's it so again make sure we close the cap and and that's it we're all done another successful charge the shell rapid charges at the moment are all concentrated in the south of, of england we have out of the 10 eight of them being within the m25 we have one further one near Reading and another near Derby. Hence there are no charges at the moment in most of the rest of England and none in Wales or Scotland at all. Hopefully there will be more installed in the future. When I checked with Shell Stations UK on Twitter they said they do plan to extend their network in the UK in 2018. Although at the moment the, the sites have not been finalised. These shell station rapids worked well and hopefully we will see a lot more of them. 
I hope that they will revisit their pricing structure as I think 49p per kilowatt is going to prove to be uncompetitive. And I would also hope that in the future they may release an RFID card to give a further option for use when charging. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. In the meantime, happy charging and this is the Plug Seeker signing off.